that's for sure an important win. Um, it's really good to pick up more points and move up the standings. I thought the guys showed some heart and had a good second half and um, deserved to win. Yeah, uh, Roomba, I mean, we talked a little bit at the end of the uh, New York game, kind of just about uh, Sam's kind of position more as a left winger. And obviously it looks like that's where he spent most of the game today. I I'm just kind of curious about um, maybe your your rationale for putting him out wide and obviously got the brace, but kind of just assessment of his performance. Um, I think Sam did a really good job. Um Sam is a huge piece to our team. And what's great about Sam is Sam is like willing to do anything for the team. And so as we've got three games in you know seven days, we've got to shift some bodies, but we want to make sure we have a good, you know, attacking presence. And um he's willing to do it from whatever spot is there on the field. And um I think he also feels comfortable coming in on that side and um you know creating and he gives us a good calm presence as well with the ball. And so um yeah, kudos to him for being such a team player to to do all that work and do all the defensive work as well. You see him fight and win tackles and energize the team, and he got awarded two goals for it. I just wanted to get your thoughts on Forrester Ajago, obviously making his MLS debut, and he's kind of been, I mean, tearing it up at, at the next pro level. Um, just kind of an assessment of his performance and what you're hoping to see from him down the road. Yeah, I thought Forrester had some good energy from the time he came on, and you saw even in a couple of the, the duels, he caused some guys problems. And I think that the more he gets to play and be around and, and get back to fitness because he was all at, and had an injury, I think that he will, um, you know, he can come in and positively affect the team. Romba, uh, how much can you share with us about your conversation with the team and, and uh, halftime? I mean, it seems like that Nashville came out a different team, um, uh, pretty much what they did. Yeah, I don't know if I could share. There was a lot of energy and different words. But, um, yeah, it was energetic talk that I think, you know, we guys, I think, took it well and came out in the second half and, and had a good good performance. No, we never Have seen that. Uh, we never seen that. The, uh, the, what, what, like what you did today, I don't think we've we seen it before. I don't know, maybe, and you guys could correct me, but uh, we've never seen that. Nashville actually coming out uh, with three strikers, uh, which they were not. But uh, what, what what was the what your plan when you thought about uh, having them, the three of them? I mean, Mokter, Bum Bumbury, and and, and Suris coming into the into the game today. Uh, I think they're all good attacking players. They've played well together when they have all three been on the field, um, and I think it just gives us a good presence, and they understand the concepts of what we're trying to do. And so, um, why not put them on the field together? We we lost you sli slightly. Just to clarify, we have a, a our next home game is against uh, New York City FC on Saturday. So uh, another question for you on the um, uh, as a follow up for Claudio, how do you get the team sorted for Saturday, considering the travel tomorrow, etc. Yeah, I, I think we'll just you know have talk to the medical and make sure the guys are in a, a good place and, you know, prepare for them in the, in the space that we have. Um, and hopefully again, have good performances. All right. Thank you coach for taking the time today. We will be joined us by Sam Surich. It was oh, um yeah it was uh, it was it was a tough game uh, yeah goals first one open was loaded up far corner then the second one I've been working on that finish a little bit in training and yeah it came up came off tonight it was a bit of uh, unusual save position for me but it was I haven't played that probably in a while but it was something that um yeah I felt like I grew into the game with and um, yeah helped the team doing that so uh, yeah it was great. Yeah, Sam, uh, you, you kind of just touched on it a little bit, but um, yeah, playing as a, a more of a left winger, um, it, it felt like that was kind of where you ended the New York game. Um, mm. But yeah, how did you feel about that? Um, did you feel like you said like you grew into it, or did um, yeah. did it take adjustment? Um, I think it was one of them. I think it, it, any position. I think even if I was playing striker, I think we still probably had to grow into the game. I think everyone 
we just sort of had to work them out. They were they were switching the ball quite a lot, and uh, we had a little bit of a, I say, a shift at half time where we, we sorted it out. And I think it was uh, not just myself, but everyone probably working themselves into the game. But um, yeah, this this I don't really mind across the front three. I don't mind playing obviously nines. Nine is my favourite position. I feel like I'm best there, but more like an inside left forward almost. It was a uh, yeah, a bit of an unorthodox position for myself, but. A lot of technical issues tonight. Um, Sam, I, I wanted to ask about that first finish. It feels like that's um, a finish that we've seen a good bit from you, kind of where you open up the hips and, and hit yeah. first time to the far post. Is that something that you've uh, that you've worked on a good bit? And I, I guess what makes that such a kind of a comfortable finish for you? Yeah, um, it's definitely it's one that I feel comfortable doing and coming on my right foot with that. But I had one just before that. I don't know if you remember, about two minutes before that. I just mishead it a little bit and it was one of them where I feel like I knew if I get that chance again, I knew what I did wrong. So I think it helps definitely out there. I've obviously got a few few shots tonight, probably yeah, most shots I've had in the game in a while, which is probably, yeah, it's, it's probably a little bit of a change position. I felt like I had a lot more space, a lot more of the ball, more in the game. And um, yeah, it definitely helped me, I think, being inside that left, left-hand left side. It was um, it was definitely work tonight, but yeah, it's something that uh, I, I worked on. And um, yeah, I think the first one, it, it wasn't it wasn't great. But like I said, I, I knew what I did wrong and I corrected it. So. Um, yeah, I, I guess maybe just um, kind of what was, uh, if you can kind of give an idea of what went on in, in, uh, in the locker room at halftime, it felt like the first half was just a completely different look from the team. Uh, Rumba said he couldn't share everything he said, um, but I, I'm just yeah. kind, of, kind of curious for your thoughts on some of the changes. Um, I think it was just more like, I think sometimes we let them get out and then we let them switch it. I think it was one of them. I think a few shifts where we just, we needed to get up to the ball. I think we've had problems maybe in, in games this season where we just haven't, we haven't been getting to the ball. We haven't maybe been challenging properly. And I think at half time, I think Rumba's, Maybe, um, yeah. He basically told us we need to we need to do that, and uh, yeah, a few tactical changes. And, and when they tried it, and we we stopped them switching the ball as much, and we managed to get more pressure up the pitch instead of sitting sitting off. Even when when we went to and up, we still looked like we were pressing a little bit. And I, I'm a great believer if if you can win the ball in their half, it, it helps the defenders so much more. So I think that's definitely what we we need to keep doing. We need to be winning the ball higher up in in their pitch and. Um, yeah, I thought we'd done that great second up. Sam, uh, you already you already said that you stated that you've been practicing that that um, that resource that <laughs> used for the second goal. Uh, yeah. I know it's a matter of seconds, but how 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 long before? I mean, you know, boy, doing what he was doing, you know that that was going to be the chance for you to do it. Yeah, um, it's strange to be fair because I've tried that a few times throughout my career, and um, yeah, it's, it's one of them people might think you're trying to. Uh, just flick it and be flashed. But I actually think it's easier to do that rather than open your body up with your left foot that side. Um, it's just something that I felt comfortable doing. And because probably I've practiced it, I just knew as soon as that cross was coming in, I've worked on it. And yeah, it's, I say it's probably like a golf swing when, when you've been practicing finishing so much, you, you, when you get into a game, you know what you're doing. And sometimes when you're not getting as many chances, it's, it's difficult because you may be getting one shot every three, four games and it's, it's difficult. So, yeah, tonight I felt like I had a lot more chances and it, I think that helped me and be able to produce the two goals as well. Now, we saw you kind of mixing it up really well on your position tonight with the Toronto guys, even inside your own box. Uh, it's not that, you, I mean, you're always physical in your game, even when you're playing up front, but was it a mm -hmm. little bit different today since you have to actually uh, mark up more and, and kind of mixing it up with them uh, more often? Did you? I saw you, like, you, you were enjoying that very much tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, enjoy it. I wouldn't say I enjoy it. I'd say I'd, I relish it. I think it's um, it's one of them where I know it helps the team and I enjoy even defending when we're 2-1 down. I enjoy those last few minutes where we're all working as a team and we clear it and then the final whistle goes. It's a, it's a great feeling. But um, I'd say I, w I don't enjoy too much sitting in a low block. I can't lie, but it's, it's one of them. If I have to do it, we will. But I think we're trying to get out of that um that frame of mind where we need to, we don't want to sit in that low block. We want to be pressing hard on the pitch. And I think that's only going to create more goals. And um, yeah, long may continue. Thank you. Cheers.